Hey, welcome to another YouTube Ads Q&A. This is a, a, a question that I find people are very confused about, and we're gonna talk about uh, bid strategy, right? So where I'm gonna assume that you're always optimizing for conversions in all of your YouTube ads, um, so you're either trying to get whatever it is, a lead, a sale, whatever, right? Some type of conversion action. Um, but people get really confused from there on out how they're bidding. People, you know, between max conversions and the target cost per acquisition, target or TCPA we'll call it in the video, which stands for target cost per acquisition. Now, um, here's the confusion that happens. People run TCPA campaigns thinking that when you put in whatever price you want, that's what YouTube or Google is gonna spit out for your conversion. And that's not how it works. I think it's, it's a crappy name actually, Google, if you're reading my, you know, if you're listening to this, it should be called, you know, like, it's almost like, I, I consider it the manual uh, conversion bidding strategy, right? So uh, with TCPA, and this is really what we're gonna focus on here is how to use TCPA, right? So when you put in your TCPA, what you're saying, let's, let's assume that you're gonna put in $20, right? 20 pounds, whatever it is, right? So all you're telling, you're telling Google that this is what you're trying to achieve them for, but you gotta think, you don't pay per conversion in YouTube, right? You actually pay per view. Um, so when you look at your CPM based bidding, they're going to try and bid a certain amount per view. And then whether your creative's good or not is going to deem all this, whether it works out, but you're really controlling how much that CPV bid is going to be that cost per view bid, right? So a higher TCPA bid allows you to potentially bid more per view and a lower TCPA bid means they can bid less per view. So how does this affect you? Well, here's the idea. Let's say you're going after an audience of a million people, right? Just to keep it simple, hopefully you've got more, right? Now, let's say that you're selling, I don't know, uh, a wi we'll just call it a widget, right? So we're selling a widget and we wanna target these million people in let's say some affinity audience, TV lovers, we'll say, right? The TV lovers affinity audience, which is an affinity you can target, right? And we're gonna bid 20 bucks, right? Now, let's say that at that $20 inside the TV lovers audience, that allows us to access, let's say 50% of the people, right? And I'll explain why in a minute. So that means your audience isn't truly really a million, it's 500,000, right? Now let's say you're trying to spend 2K a day. You can start to see here why we're gonna run into problems, right? We're gonna start running into creative exhaustion because inside the, all of those 500,000 people aren't a prospect for whatever it is you're trying to sell only a smaller percentage are. And the quality of your creative is gonna deem how successful your video is to those 500,000 people. So let's back up, why do we only have 50% of them? Well, it's because, just because they're TV lovers doesn't mean that's all they are, right? Some of them might be, uh, some of them might need a roof, right? Some of them might be shopping for a car. Some of them might be into weight loss, right? Some of them might be looking for house or car insurance, right? There's all these other things which are more high, which are a higher value thing than just being a TV lover, which means there's people out there bidding for those same folks willing to pay maybe 25 or 30 or 50 even, right? Which means you have to increase your TCPA bid to increase the percentage of that audience you can see, right? Now this isn't stuff that Google has Google publishes anywhere. This is just think about the logic behind it and this is how it works, right? And there's ins and outs obviously as your as your account, your ad, uh, your campaigns get more knowledge, Google knows more about who they're looking for so they know that they can, you know, they'll get a good return for you on that dollar. But we're assuming here like sort of just basic level, not like a super aged account with 50,000 conversions or whatever in it, right? So herein lies why sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, right? Is because you don't, you're, you just don't know what you need to bid, right? This is why when you talk to a Google rep, they're gonna say run max conversions, right? I'm running out of space here. Max conversions for 30 days or 50 conversions, whichever comes first, 30 days or 50 conversions, then switch over to TCPA. And don't just switch over your conversion dollar, increase it by about 10%. So if you're getting them for 50, bid 55. You're getting them for 30, bid 33 to 34, right? Give it some leeway. And then if it keeps spending after you know a couple weeks, go ahead, pardon me, and reduce your TCPA as long as everything else, else is equal. Now I'm gonna erase this because there's a few caveats that you really need to keep in mind when we're doing TCPA that people just get baffled by, right? You have to be bidding more than your, well, no, let me say, if you want longevity, you need to bid more than your TCPA. 
right? Yes, you can bid $20 and have a budget of $20 and get results. First thing I'm gonna say is that's a super small campaign, so I'm glad it's working, but I would recommend you chase someone bigger unless you're charging them a lot of money. But B, it's gonna be inconsistent, right? It's gonna be inconsistent. What you might look at if this is your case is look at what your CPV is, right? And look at your audience you're targeting. I would also try a manual CPV campaign here. you're gonna kind of accomplish a similar thing because you're not really giving the algorithm enough data. Google tells us in their documentation they want 10 times TCPA at a minimum five times TCPA for a daily budget to really optimize around this. If you're getting results in this scenario, $20 budget, $20 TCPA, it's luck, right? That's what it is. It's not optimization based on Google's algorithm. Okay, so that's the first thing. The second thing is you can't set this wherever the heck you want. You can't just be like, I want them for 10 bucks, right? Because several things come into a factor here. The audience, right? You're creative. So if you've got the right audience, but your video is crap, well, you can't say, give me results with this crap video at the price I want, right? So you have to play with this. So it takes some massaging. So if you're gonna launch a TCPA by launch a new campaign, you either need to know your data, so know in the past like, oh, I can usually launch a $30 TCPA and it works, right? Or you need to try. So let's say you launch a 20 and you can't spend your full budget. So let's say your daily budget is 1,000 and you're spending like 450. Well that 90% of the time is this issue, that's too low. Your TCPA bid is too low to get after all the people that you wanna target in your audience. So you gotta put that up right? Don't go to 30, go to like 22 first, right? Or 23. Let it sit, see what happens the next day. Put it to 24, right? I just played this game with a campaign. We started at 40. I went to 70. I didn't go right to 75, but I was like going 40, 44, 48, 52. It just wasn't spent. I'm like, okay, let's work backwards. Now I lost money doing it, but I was impatient, right? I went up to 75, then I started pulling it backwards. 75 would have been break even if we were getting these for 75. Now keep in mind, it was always coming in lower than our TCPA bid, but I needed to get it to spend, then I pull it back. So it's this dance sometimes, right? Back and forth, back and forth, right? That we play with the algorithm, constantly wondering where our right bid is. And it's not always the same. I've had killer videos. I've had this happen so many times where I'm bidding say $60 in a campaign and my ad is getting $45 leads. We're happy with that, $45 is our CPL. I create a new video with a new script and it turns out to be an amazing winner. I put it into that campaign, it starts getting $25 leads for like two or three weeks. Same $50 bid, I don't or $60 TCPA bid, nothing changes. But the creative resonates more with the audience, right? So at the end of the day, and you've heard me say this once, you've heard me say it 100 times, the creative wins, right? Always, 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 always. If your campaign is struggling, it is not anything but your ad is crappy, right? And do not try to tweak everything upside down until you get a better ad. So I would recommend, you know, spending less money and constantly trying new ads, trying to make it work, than I would in trying to find some secret audience that would work, right? Unless you're dealing with such a huge, like if you can sell internationally, because you're e-com or you're an affiliate, okay. No problem. But if you're running state, province, even a country, really, to, unless it's super ubiquitous and everybody can buy it that's of age, you know what I mean, over 18 or over 21, then I wouldn't do that. This is a long video, but this is a super complicated um, concept with YouTube ads that I get asked all the time. So, you know, and people get it super confused. They think they bid what they want to pay for it, right? And that's just not how it works. And I wanted to help clarify that. And maybe I've confused people even more. If you have more questions about this, post them below as a comment. Uh, as always, if you have your own question about YouTube ads, click below, uh, fill out the form and let me know what your question is. And I will try and answer it in one of my weekly Q&A videos, just like this one. And as always, please like and subscribe below so you'll get notified with every new video I put out. We'll see you in the next one and have a great day.